What's your best piece of NSFW advice? Most employers don't actually monitor internet traffic. They will slash may use blockers. But rarely look at what you're looking at until there's a complaint. Someone saw you looking at porn. Or your productivity has taken a recent hit. Source, me. I've worked it at companies ranging in size from 500. 00 employees to 138. Policies are shockingly similar, with the smaller shops being more restrictive. So, dumb question. Can they monitor what you look at on your phone? If you're using their Wi-Fi, does your phone name, Bob's iPhone, show up or how does that work? I've always been curious. Also, do they actually see what you look at? Like would Reddit show up as Reddit, or would certain addresses to posts you look at show up? And lastly, can they see how much data you use on their Wi-Fi? I usually watch an episode of something on Netflix at lunch, to pass the time and don't want to get in trouble? Close bracket. Lots of good questions. Can they monitor what you look at on your phone? If you're using their Wi-Fi, yes. But it's a lot of work and most network administrators don't enable this functionality because who wants to keep a bunch of log files? I know some companies do so to protect themselves at the behest of legal departments. But honestly, it's not necessary in most cases. As a matter of fact, the chief legal counsel at a company I worked at told me that log files weren't really necessary to protect a company from liability from what people look at because they sign documents that basically say don't do illegal, immoral, or questionable shit on our network and that's enough to fire people for and to deflect blame from the company. I could do pocket sniffing and capture traffic and then decipher it, but it's a lot of work and time for not a huge payoff. Does your phone name, Bob's iPhone, show up or how does that work? Yes, it shows up as on the network. And I can easily see how much traffic someone is generating in bandwidth and how much bandwidth they've used. But typically, that's about it. Also, do they actually see what you look at? Like would Reddit show up as Reddit? Or would certain addresses to posts you look at show up? That goes back to the first question. If I really wanted to, I could look into it. But again. It's a lot of work, and it takes time and I, and my peers, would prefer to not do that. I know that it's not difficult technically and there are tools that help with this real time. But without those tools, it's kind of a pain. We push back on requests like this, unless legal or ours is involved. And lastly, can they see how much data you use on their Wi-Fi? Yes. This is part of the most basic stats collected on each device connected to the network. So, our company iPhones have free data, but it caps at 25 GB per user at which time it throttles their speed. It's kind of funny when people open a support ticket because their hotspots aren't working right or are too slow. And then we look at their network usage. Yep, over 25 GB for the month. We then tell them to stop watching Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, or YouTube on the mobile data network and wait until they are on our Wi-Fi. They usually get embarrassed, and are good from there on. For all the teenage boys out there, make sure to wash your hands after you jerk off. Cum has a smell, and it's hard to smell your own. Shit, yes, that has a smell too. It's okay to take off your hard hat for a moment to clear sweat from your eyes slash forehead. Just visually clear the area first, and identify potential risks. Safe for work tips. Don't put anything up your so's, but without asking them first, or anyone's but, whether they're significant or not ask first. This resonates with me. I thought I'd hit the holy grail in college, having a threesome with two pretty girls. Problem was, one of the girls was extremely aggressive with bud play, and jammed her finger right into my asshole. I gave it about a half second to see if I liked it. I did not. I'm not certain. But I believe she was trying to reach my small intestines. My phallus shriveled, and that pretty much ended our night. I'm not convinced the one girl didn't do it out of jealousy, because they were cuddled together, and I just laid next to them feeling very confused. Edit, the night ended, because it ducking hurt. Not because I'm a poor sport. Just for clarity. If you are eating her out, and you get a weird hair on your tongue, just lick the inside of her leg, and it will stick there. I do this when in giving hair to a guy, but I stop and lick my hand, and am just now realizing 
that probably makes me look like a cat licking their paw. Awakening fetishes in every guy you blow I guess. Young ladies just starting out with sex. Take it from an old crow. Please do not fake orgasms. I know it seems like the easy way out when he is pumping away at your mostly driver china after 2 minutes of foreplay and you are so 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 bored. But then he goes away thinking that gets you off and it will never get better for you. Even if you are new to sex you don't know what gets you off yet. Do not lie by faking it. Only by being honest can you figure out what works together. If you have, can't orgasm from only penis and vag sex. Know that most of us cannot. And ask him go down on you before. When you get to the penis and vag part, it will be way better for both of you. Great advice right there. I was awful at bed when I met my ex. She was honest about what I did wrong and right, except about length of intercourse, and when we broke up, I was worlds better at everything. I'm at a new relationship. She always compliments me. Nothing of that would be possible if my ex didn't show me that 30, 40 minutes of foreplay basically seals the deal. Doesn't have to be that long though. So don't let that scare you young guys. My basic rule of thumb. Get her off first. This doesn't have to take that long really. I really love pleasing my partners anyways. So having her orgasm usually gets me even more eddy if I'm not all the way there myself yet. Also cut your nails. And if you just cut them that day file them. Or at least rub them on something like your jeans. If you didn't have a chance to cut your nails. Be extra careful and aware of them. Watch videos of how to pleasure with your hands and mouth. Not porn actual sensual or instructional videos. My last piece of advice is work the inner thighs before you touch her vagina with anything. Lightly run your fingers across them or kiss them. In my experience this like teasing for a minute or so drives women absolutely crazy. Actually this is my last piece of advice. Your hand should always be moving and touching her when your penis is inside her or him if that's your fancy. That's not all there is. Sex is a whole body experience, not just a genital one. Improvising is one thing, but if you're using something that's not a sex toy as a sex toy, and there's even the slightest risk it could be stuck on or inside you, don't stick it on or inside you. It ain't worth the cost of hospital bills or the shame of explaining to your doctor why you have a can of monster shoved up your ass, or why your dick is stuck in a wet vac. Wet vac hoses have massive diameter. I think if I got stuck in one, I'd march to the hospital, pants down, dragging the vacuum behind me, and just assume that a parade of envious men and interested women would form a parade behind me. Depends on which attachment you're using. Don't put your pecker on the payroll. If you manage people, don't get involved with a subordinate. Problems arise and your career path may go into a completely undesirable direction. Source, you slash my catisabrate. True. Got involved with someone above me. Rumors started. So we pretty much quit talking altogether. She was probably the most fun person there. Like we had more in common than I did with other cowalkers. Then it was lame and awkward to have to talk to her. Equals slash. Same exact thing happened to me. She was a really cool person, but we had to put on the brakes super hard, and then it got weird and frustrating when we both started seeing other people. Anytime she had a bad day, my manager would always come up to me well after the relationship and ask if I knew what was going on with her. She was a super mood swingy type of chick. When you party where shit lives, don't be surprised when shit shows up. I wildly misunderstood what you were talking about at first, and was going to tell the story of a party I went to where some shit showed up. Now I realize it's a butt sex thing. I also first thought he was saying that, if you go to a sketchy house to party, sketchy people will come. LOL. For men it would be, don't ignore the clit. For women it would be, take it easy. You're stroking my cock not trying to pull start a cold lawn mower. On that note, emphasize the downstroke. Don't pull. Yes exactly. It's like the motion they use is exactly backwards. Please. Please say it with me. The scrotum is not a load bearing hard point. Well I mean. It is load bearing. Hoo hoo hoo. Make sure to mute the volume. If you watch porn on your phone at work. Turn it up full and assert dominance. Dave. We're looking at you. 
if you are gonna stick it in there. But be gentle and use a duck ton of lube. Use a buttload of lube. Don't ever do BDSM related shit with someone who thinks Safi wards are for pussies. To young or inexperienced lovers. Slow down. It's not like it is in porn. Don't finger as hard as you can. Don't pound as hard as you can. There is a time and place for that, but it's not all geo 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 all the time. So what you're saying is that. Sometimes you don't have to duck the hard. Sometimes it's not right to do. Freshly cleaned 7 wash genitals have a higher chance of receiving oral. How do I 7 wash? That's just a normal wash repeated 6 times. It's slower than you think. But not that low. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Lower. A little lower. Lower. To low. Ah lower. Pee after sex. But get out of bed first. Unless they're into that. Most prostitutes don't have change or a credit card reader. So there are prostitutes that have change slash a credit card reader. If you are on a liquid diet, don't trust your farts. Edit. I've never gotten so many upvotes before. I'd jump for joy. But I don't trust this liquid diet of mine. Three things to remember. When you get older, never pass up a bathroom. Never waste a hard on. And never trust a fart. Apostrophe. Jack Nicholson. Be completely transparent with you so about everything sex and masturbation related. It makes a world of difference to the quality of your sex life when you aren't afraid to talk about it. Hey honey I'm going to jerk off to your sister now. See you in a bit. Love ya oh, oh. You wanna watch Grey's Anatomy with me? Apostrophe. Nor. I'm gonna go jerk off of tentacle porn. Maybe I'll watch the last 20 minutes with you when I'm done. Apostrophe. When you're eating pussy, remember that the clit is basically a tiny penis. Think about what makes a good blowjob. It's all about lips. Firm your bottom lip and push up underneath the clit with it. You're basically pinning the base of it against her pelvis. Be gentle though. Now you've got friction around the entire thing. Apply a little suction. And depending on how sensitive she is use either the top or bottom of your tongue to carefully massage it the clit. Remember the top of your tongue is rougher. The tongue part is just to get her to start moving her hips. Because once she does. She's basically going to jerk herself off against your lip and the hood of her clit. Imma dude and this made my pussy wet. This made me laugh out loud. If you sleep naked. Keep a pair of shorts near the bed. It avoids potentially very awkward situations. If you need to get out of bed real quick and leave your room. Source. I needed to get out of bed real quick and leave my room. I also sleep naked. But my thinking is that if someone is trying to rob me and I run at them screaming with my balls swaying in the wind. They may think twice. Edit. My highest ever rated comment is about me being naked and attacking people. Does the thought of changing diapers. Waking up 4 times a night for 2 to 3 years. Or the risk of STDs sound appealing to you? No. Use extra protection. I don't care if she swears on a bible that she takes birth control or he says that condoms make him uncomfortable. Unless you are in a serious relationship or are married. Protect yourself. Edit. Can't word. Use extra protection. A condom and sunscreen then. Nobody wants a sunburned dick. Get lube. Use lube. There's this whole am I wet. Wet enough. Will I stay wet? Anxiety thing that can be completely removed from your mind if you just use lube. And then you can concentrate on more important things. Also nothing beats good quality lube. It's like liquid silk down there. Don't buy the cheap, shitty stuff that congeals towards the end. What is a good brand? I've tried Kai and Astroglide and both congealed. I use coconut oil for the bud sex. But nothing for a get a roll pie v. When you're about to swallow, make sure the head of the dick is at the back of your throat, or as far back as is comfortable. The cum goes right down. No tasting. No active swallowing. Easy peasy. I have only given one guy blowjobs. And I seriously was surprised when I tasted his semen for the first time. It wasn't as bad as I expected. Only slightly bitter. Nothing seriously bad slash awful. It depends on what they've eaten recently. Some things can make it disgustingly bitter. 
whereas if they'd been good about it, you'll barely notice it at all. Alright this saved me a lot of times in my teens. Whenever you get an unexpected boner just flex any muscle for 60 sex and watch. Boner gone. Edit. Holy shit. RIP my inbox. Watching myself flex gets me hard though. Guess I'll have a forever boner. What happens when you flex your boner while looking at it? Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.